Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about AI animation and Runway's new Gen 1. Now let me show you a quick example of what it can do right here. Now what it does, it takes a video input and transforms that into, well, basically whatever. Depends on your prompt or your input style image. Now it is limited to three seconds at a time with some creative use, you can get around that. So let me show you how it works. And uh, by the way, what do you call a Canadian animation? Anim, eh? All right, so what we've got here, uh, I have a video that I downloaded from Pixels of this guy doing some kind of martial arts. So this is what we will be transforming today. And I'm using Premiere now, you can use any video editing program. And I'm changing the, instead of the time code, I'm changing to frames. So we can get 95 frames, which is uh, what Gen 1 uses. I'm cutting up the first part to 95 frames. And then I'm moving it up so I can get uh, the second part. And I'm actually moving it forward 30 frames and then dragging it back so we have more space to work with. Because I noticed Gen 1 also um, tends to cut a bit into your inputs. So I'm doing that with the rest of the video. So now we have five pieces of this video, which are about three seconds or 95 frames each. And we're gonna export them individually as files. I'm gonna name them one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just doing that for each of them. And once that's finished, you're gonna take a screenshot of your first frame. And we're gonna use that as a reference for our style input. So we're gonna take this and save it into your folder with all your files, drag that into ControlNet in Stable Diffusion. We're gonna use depth map here, and I'm enabling ControlNet. Just lower the weight a little bit. It's not that important, it's just a fine tuning. And I'm gonna pick a style here. I'm gonna use uh, the, our Ghibli preset or an anime kind of style. I'm having here martial arts master anime. And I've clicked the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now this is an extension, so you can go into extensions and get that. It's called aspects ratio something something. I'm changing the batch count to nine and it's changed uh, to DDIM sampler. Now we have nine images here. I think I wanna use the middle one because we have a very bright clothing there. So I'm gonna take that, save that into the folder with all the files. And here we have our input. We have the five files that, and our style prompt. And now we're gonna go into Discord and this is Runway's private channel for Gen 1. I'm gonna type Gen 1. I'm gonna drag in the first video input and the style. So now it starts working here and you get a separate thread for all your generations. And here you have all the settings as well that you can change. You have death blur, CFG temporal scale, CFG scale seed, etc., etc. We're not going to change them at this moment, but you can play around with them. Just type in Gen 1 and go dash dash seed number, for example. Seed is the only one we're going to be using now, but we are going to check our first generation here. So this is our first three seconds. Let me play that again for you. So this is already already fairly good for a first uh, first try here. Now we're gonna take the seed here. So each generation or each video file we have of our five are gonna be consistent with the first one. It's gonna be it's not gonna be 100%, but uh, it's gonna be fairly okay. I'm gonna drag in the second one and the style, and then we're gonna repeat this with all the five video files and the style inputs. Once that's finished, you're just gonna download them to your computer. And we're gonna remove our input videos or our original videos. And we're gonna drag in the new one. I'm actually changing the settings here because Gen 1 gave me a different resolution output. Then I'm just arranging them in order. One, two, three, four, five. And you're just gonna have a quick look to see how these match. And they're not gonna be perfect, but you see it just in a second. 
So as you can see, the guy here finding is kind of fluid, but the background is changing. And that's one of the issues actually with um, Gen 1, that you have a little inconsistency with each generation. But I, we're going to get around it with some creative thinking. First off, I'm just going to export this. Uh, I'm going to run it through arrive pass in flow frames to first off uh, to get to get it uh, to run a little more smooth. So we're just going to go four times on this. And the flow frames is a free tool. You can just uh, Google it and download it. So now our new video file is going to be kind of smoothed out and it's going to be 100, 100 FPS. And we're not going to use that, but we are, however, going to speed it up. Uh, and that's where our extra frame information is, is going to help us. So as you can see, there's not much different here. You can see the 100 frames here and we're changing this. I want it faster. So let me show you this. So now you can see you have a fast, smooth animation. It looks pretty nice, to be honest. I mean, ignoring the background flip there. But the guy is uh, it's fairly good. So I'm just going to start adding some um, sound effects to this. I'm just going to speed this part up so you don't have to sit and watch it. I'm going to show you the results though. quickly show you here with all the effects. And as you can see here, I've actually made a, a quick fix with... You can see here, I'm showing the original video over the cuts of the three second parts of, of the video. So we're kind of tricking the viewer. Instead of showing the cuts, we're just cutting to the original. And that will give us a, a cool effect. So by using this technique, you can uh, basically create longer videos with, with Gen 1. If you want to keep a, a longer scene, you can try to blend the, the background or the jump cuts in some way. Or you can take an input that has a maximum of, of 3 seconds or 95 frames per, per scene. That, that way you could do a whole video, actually. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Now it's... Um, this is just a temporary limit, the three seconds one. So as soon as this goes public, I assume it's going to be, you know, unlimited, which uh, wouldn't surprise me at all. It's a very powerful tool. No, it's not maybe as powerful as the sneak preview we've seen from Wonder, but uh, that's another video. As always, have a good one. See ya.